I think Rishi Sunak demonstrated why he is the clear choice to be the next Prime Minister. It's tempting to think of this election as a, just another leadership election, but it's about who sits in the chair in September, who's going to make the big decisions on the economy, who's going to tame the beast of inflation. And I believe that Rishi Sunak, head and shoulders, is the person who demonstrated tonight why he is able to rise to that challenge. There were moments in this debate this evening where Rishi Sunak was defending his tax rises. He was saying that he believes in spending more on public services. Did he sound particularly conservative this evening? Oh, I think he sounded in the best traditions of Conservative chancellors who aren't frightened sometimes to tell the truth why it is important that we fund our public services and balance the books. And there will be times when tax burdens have to rise and there will be times when tax burdens will fall. But as he said, we uh, win elections to cut taxes. We don't cut taxes to win elections. And I think that his relentless focus on inflation, just like great Conservative chancellors like Geoffrey Howe and Nigel Lawson before him, marks him out as the person who understands what it is to be a Conservative. And that's why I'm supporting him so strongly. He has this relentless focus on inflation now, yet his initial response to the inflation crisis was to spend £37 billion. At one moment, he raised a tax that brought in £5 billion, only to spend a further £13 billion. Where is his newfound fiscal conservatism coming from? Has it always been there? Well, I think that uh, Rishi Sunak has always been what we describe as a fiscal conservative. I think he's realistic that we face the un unprecedented challenge of Covid. I sat round the cabinet table with him. Him. We made the big decisions to save the economy and do what it took. Of course, there are consequences from that and consequences from quantitative easing, which, let's face it, Tom, has been with us since the economic crisis of 08. It's clear to me that we need a Conservative government to tame the beast of inflation, and you do that through balancing the books. You do that through a credible economic policy. You don't... Uh, play fast and loose with the economy. Uh, if we're, Conservatives are all about economic sound management and that's why I think at this really challenging time for us, Rishi Sunak is the right choice. This debate kicked off with a question on trust and Rishi Sunak found himself having to apologise. He has exactly the same number of fines as Prime Minister Boris Johnson does for breaking his own Covid rules. Did he address that squarely tonight? I thought he did. I thought he showed why it is important to remember that be you air so high, the law is always above you. And what happened to him was an application of the rule of law, which is, I think, one of the cornerstones of what we are as a civilised country. He accepted the fine, he didn't challenge it, he's explained what happened, and I think that because of that straightforward approach that he took to that, we can read into it a wider straightforwardness, a wider sense of honesty about what he uh, wants to tell the British people about the scale of the economic challenge that faces us. And I think that integrity, that honesty, that straightforward this really shone through tonight. A lot of Conservative members will be worried about Rishi Sunak, seeing him as the man who wielded the knife against Boris Johnson. We understand from certain briefings that Boris Johnson doesn't particularly want Rishi Sunak to become Prime Minister. Might that hurt him in this race? Well, look, I'd be very surprised if the Prime Minister expresses a view about his immediate successor. Uh, I, I read the briefings. I'm, I'm not going to comment about who said, might have said what to whom. I think what is clear is that when we were in Cabinet together, we took some pretty tough decisions decisions uh, about, first of all, getting Brexit done, and then secondly, saving the economy during Covid. I've got no doubt that with the experience that Rishi Sunak has had, the uh, experience that I've had with him negotiating public, settlement, uh, public spending settlements, I see a man who is ready and willing and able to get on with that job from day one, which is exactly what the British people need. Now, just finally, I'm sure that if I asked you who won this debate, you'd say your man, Rishi Sunak. Who tonight was Rishi Sunak's biggest competition? Look, I, I thought that it was an impressive debate. I was particularly impressed by Kemi Badenoch. I think she comes across clearly with great conviction. She's uh, somebody I've admired for a, a long time. I thought Tom Tugendhat spoke, as he usually does, with uh, vigour and uh, uh, absolute conviction. I thought... Uh, looking at it objectively, what we saw were uh, candidates of, from all parts of our society. We had women candidates with people from an ethnic minority background. It's an extraordinary offering that the Conservative Party is now giving, uh, not just to members, but to the wider electorate. And I'm excited by that. And I'm proud to be part of such a diverse and modern team.
Robert Buckland, thank you. Thanks.